Good morning, Rich with Friends. I just had a word that I wanted to bring to you guys this morning. Um, I was not sleeping well the other night, and I was just rolling thoughts around in my brain, thing after thing after thing. It was the middle of the night, and I don't know if that happens to you guys, but it has happened to me more often than I care to admit through this season. And um, the Father just whispered something into my ear, and I wanted to share it with you guys, and I just hope that it's an encouragement and a blessing to your hearts. Um, it's 1 John chapter 4, verses 16 to 18, and it says, God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. And I have, you know, I've never really been an overly fearful person. <clears throat> but this season is really revealing just how there are many things that I do that have a root, a little bit of a root in fear. Um, and I, I try and, and deal with fear by being in control of things, um, by watching TV because it empties my mind. Um, by eating good, yummy food that I want to eat. Um, there are just so many ways that I try and manage this reality. And the Father was just whispering to me that perfect love drives out fear. And this, this, these verses started with God is love. So God drives out fear. The Father, he's the one. And so he just was whispering to me, Libby, you bring this to me. You bring these things to me. I don't, you're not meant to carry them. They're not for you. They're for me. So you, you come to me. And, and in coming to me, the fear will go away. Perfect love drives out fear. Not all these things you do, staying busy or eating or watching TV, that's not going to deal with the root of what's happening. You pursue me and, and your relationship with me, and that's just going to fall away. And so the song that I wanted to share with you guys, it has, you know, the Lord had, had somebody send this to me the week before this all happened with the coronavirus, and I have listened to it every day since. It is such a powerful song. The, the chorus is, I run to the Father, I fall into grace. I'm done with the hiding, no reason to wait. My heart needs a surgeon, my soul needs a friend. So I'll run to the Father again and again and again. We can come to him again and again and again. If it is every day, if it is every hour, if it is every minute, we run to him again and again. So I just, my prayer for all of you is that you are doing that. Wherever you are at with the Father, I just pray that you are, you are driving to know him and to seek him. This whole chapter in 1 John is about who God is. And it is a beautiful picture of who he is. And he is so worth knowing. I don't know why so often I run away from that instead of running towards it. We can run to him. Run to the Father again and again and again. Lord, in this time, we just come to you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that you love us where we are. We thank you that we can come to you again and again and again, and it does not matter how often we come. You never tire of us. You love us. I thank and praise you for that. Father, I just pray that you are guarding our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus, and that as we seek you, fear has no place, that you drive it out as you promised to. We love you. We praise and thank you for who you are. We pray that you are honored and glorified among us in this time. In your mighty name, we ask all of these things. Amen. I've carried a burden too long on my own. I wasn't created to bear.
surgeon, my soul needs a friend, so I run to the Father again and again and again and again. Wow.